yes, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, I'm Antoinette, a New Zealander living in Germany. And in this video today, I'm going to be talking about five things that you should never do if you want to get on the good side of a German. And I'm not saying that every German is going to get really angry if you do these things, but I've lived in Germany long enough to know that most Germans are gonna be pretty pissed off if you do any of these five things. Okay, so I'm gonna get into it. This is in no particular order. The first thing that is going to make a German extremely angry is if you take a dog for a walk and you do not clean up the dog's poop. Now, honestly, stepping in dog poop, it's gonna make anybody angry. That stuff is so hard to clean out of your shoes and it's hard to get the smell away. But in Germany, Germans get extra angry about this because there is no excuse to do this in Germany. All over Germany they have these like little booths that you can grab free bags to clean up your dog poop and they are everywhere. Most dog owners in Germany will bring along their own bags but you know if they've run out or if they don't have them then they're readily available. So the other day I took my kids for a walk in our village. We live in a little village just outside of Würzburg and I saw a little group of retired people kind of huddled around looking really angry they were just not happy at all and as I got a little closer an old lady came up to me and said I'm just warning you somebody has let their dog poop all over our ground how disgusting I can't believe they would do that and this whole group were just like shaking their heads and just saying just how terrible who would do that when I think about it these people had every right to be pissed off about this because there was dog poop spread all around their beautiful clean village. How hard is it for somebody to just pick up their dog poop in a bag and dispose of it in the bin? If you're a dog owner you should be carrying these litter bags and you know even if you're not a dog owner and you're just walking a dog you should have these bags with you. If not it is so easy to find them in Germany. No excuse. So if you don't clean up after your dog it's going to make a German very angry and rightly so. Okay so the next thing that is going to make a German and furious is if you do not separate your rubbish. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a ranty video because I've lived in Germany for quite a few years now and these things actually make me feel angry. <laughs> Germany has very strict rules about recycling, separating your rubbish. And when I first came to Germany, I wasn't aware of these rules and I learned the hard way, but as soon as I found out how it worked in Germany, I followed those rules. And basically, I've explained this in previous videos, but almost all the rubbish is separated into categories. So there is there's glass, there is biodegradable rubbish, there is paper, there is plastic, there's even other categories, but you know, those are the main categories. And some people don't follow these rules and it's like a crime in Germany. You do not mix your rubbish together. You are going to get in trouble. You are going to make Germans extremely angry if you do this. So where I live we have three really big recycling bins that I have to share with two of my neighbours. Now I live in a house which is split into two so it's like a big house and we live on the top and our neighbour lives below us. It's quite a common setup here in Germany and there's also a man like a retired man who lives on the same property in a little house and so um, yeah we share our bins and we have a new neighbour. She's only been living there for maybe three months so hopefully this lady doesn't watch my videos. If she does she's probably going to hate me but she is a rubbish mixer and she is German so she does not have any excuse. It's okay if you don't know about it and you learn from your mistakes but she has been living in Germany all her life and she mixes the rubbish all together and this makes my husband furious. It makes him so angry and our other neighbour it makes him even more furious. So the reason why this makes my husband and our other neighbour so angry is because we share the bins with this neighbour and we could get penalised, we could get in trouble for her mixing all of the rubbish, people might think it's us and you can get charged if you're caught out doing it. So it's not only that, you know, it's terrible for the environment. See I'm getting worked up just talking about it um, because you just need to follow the rules in Germany, there's just no excuse. Yesterday my husband and I saw a big plastic bag plonked on our neighbour's doorstep 
she was about to take it out to plonk it into one of our bins. The bag was full with cigarette butts, food, paper, plastic, everything you could imagine and she was just going to plonk it into a bin. Okay this is something that maybe you would do when you first came to Germany and you were not aware of the rules. She has been living in Germany her whole life. Does this make me German because I'm actually getting kind of angry about this? It's making my blood boil a little bit. Would this make you angry too? Okay so another thing that is going to really piss off a German, this is going to make them pretty angry if they are sitting in a restaurant or on public transport and somebody is on their telephone on their cell phone talking at the top of their voice and you can hear their whole life story. There are some egocentric people out there that think the whole world revolves around them. They have no consideration for anyone else and they think that everybody wants to hear their private conversation broadcasted loudly for the whole bus or the whole restaurant to hear. I hear a lot of people doing this in English, Russian, Turkish, just speaking so loudly in public places and everybody can't help but hear what they're saying. And Germans, they hate it. They cannot stand it. And it's not even the fact that these people are speaking a foreign language. If a German spoke at the top of their lungs in German in this kind of situation, another German is most likely going to get super frustrated about this. And you'll see this happening on the bus or the train or whatever. Somebody will be speaking super loud, you know, broadcasting their conversation. And you'll see all the Germans around them. They're just like, ugh. And another thing that is going to make a German really angry is if you mow your lawns on a Sunday. So this probably sounds kind of funny to anyone that doesn't live in Germany, but Germany has strict rules about what you can and can't do on a Sunday. So on Sunday in Germany, most of the shops are closed. Sunday in Germany is a time for just spending quality time with loved ones, relaxing, rejuvenating. You're not meant to work on a Sunday, you're meant to relax. Germans take this really seriously so if you mow your lawns or you drill or you know do something that makes a lot of sound that is considered interrupting the peace and Germans don't like that at all. I remember when I first moved into this house I previously lived in a small apartment and we didn't have a backyard or anything so we moved into a house with a garden. I remember suggesting to Rob that he mowed the lawns on a Sunday because I thought it was the perfect day for it. We weren't really doing anything, we were just sort of hanging out. He said to me, what, mow the lawns on a Sunday? Do you want our neighbours to hate us? And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, no one mows their lawns on a Sunday in Germany. I was like, what, are you joking? You're not allowed to mow your lawns on Sunday? Because in New Zealand, hearing the lawnmower is just a normal part of a Sunday afternoon. A lot of people in New Zealand choose to mow their lawns on a Sunday and nobody thinks twice about it. It's, it's fine. But in Germany, it's considered very rude to interrupt somebody's peaceful Sunday with your loud lawnmower. And if you do this, you're going to piss off a lot of Germans. And last but not least, something that is going to make a German so angry is if you ride your bike on the road when there is a bicycle lane right next to the road. And I see this happening quite a bit in Germany and boy does it make Germans furious. So I live in the beautiful Würzburg region of Germany and in our region we have a whole lot of bike lanes, beautiful bike lanes all along the river so people can bike for hours on these lanes. They have beautiful views. These bike lanes make cycling from town to town, village to village, city to city just so enjoyable. They're such smooth lanes and they're safe. They're really, really safe. There's absolutely no reason to bike on the road if you have these beautiful bike lanes all set up for you. But people still do it. Mostly cyclists. You'll see them in their cycling gear and they will be riding on the road and this tiny little lane and they think that they own the road and they don't even keep in the lane so you know you're in the car and you have to pull over for them and when the bike lane is right next to the road where they could you know easily be biking on that bike lane but no they choose to like rule the road on their bike and why 
why do they do this? When you see cyclists do this, look out for the faces of the Germans driving next to them. They will not be happy. It will make them quite angry. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. And I am so sorry. This was such a ranty video. I got so worked up. And you know, maybe I have been living in Germany too long because some of these things really make me angry too. And you know, the lawnmower on a Sunday thing, that doesn't bother me. People talking loud on public transport, you know, I can get over that. But you know, things like mixing up the rubbish when you know the rules, you know, that makes me angry. And people leaving their dog shit lying around, that makes me angry. And you know, people riding on the road, ruling the road on their bicycles when there's a bike lane right next to them it makes me kind of angry. So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to subscribe to my channel. I know that about 80% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to my channel, so I would love you to hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you again really soon. Bye!